thinks this is this and I me and last episode I think it was right after I ended the episode I realized that um, this thingy mabob over here this pump was um, a bit overflowed I mean entombed <laughs> a bit it was covered <laughs> so I just had them digging that out right now but uh, last episode we had some problems up here with everything being far, far, far too cold. And I destroyed the liquid reservoir. And then I realized um, that it didn't really matter to destroy the liquid reservoir. I don't know if gold amalgam would be a better idea or a worse idea. Let's try it. But the, the liquid reservoir was not the problem. It was the pipes being too cold, like the pipes freezing that was the problem, obviously. So, um, I don't know if I really have a way to solve that right now. Uh, overheat temperature, slow heating, decor, plus 20 overheat temperature. Like, all these things are just overheat temperature. Thermally reactive? Would that be better? If something is thermally reactive, little energy to raise in temperature and therefore heat and cool quickly. No, 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 that would be bad. We want something that is slow heating because then it will take a long time to be so cold that it freezes. So I believe igneous rock is our answer here. And we're going to want intake, output. Okay, just like that. Make that with igneous rock. And honestly, the pipes, I guess, should be made with igneous rock or something like that as well. But, oh, they are. Okay, so I don't know if the liquid bridge was too cold, if the pipes were too cold, or what, because I've destroyed it now and I don't remember. I didn't check, but I guess we're just gonna... It's just gonna kind of exist the way that it is. The way that it is for now. Um, being able to move any amount of water back through here is going to be good for us. Like, the more water we can steal is actually good. As long as we're utilizing the water, because this thing is not going to be active if it's overpressured. If it's if there's too much water sitting here, then this won't push out any more water when it's not dormant. Um, it's dormant right now. But um, if we should try and keep the water level low when it's active so that it will keep producing water and will produce like the maximum amount of water. Um, and we don't really have any water right now, so... That would be good for us. This area is, you know, possibly struggling, but I guess it is what it is. So, last episode, I was working on making sure that we were breathing okay again. And, okay, I have idle people. They're not trapped somewhere though, right? Okay. I was making sure that we could breathe again, and I was just fully finishing up with this whole system, I think. And I was dealing with the water... And the cooling, I had to, you know, we had to go through some more cycles of that because of the water. All those things were happening, so now I think I have to do what I've been avoiding for quite some time, which is try and figure out some way, somehow, somewhere to set up the metal refinery. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just go somewhat low and we just try to use gold and gold amalgam for now. And then we switch it all out for steel later once we've made the steel with it. I know it's sort of odd that you have to, you have to make, you have to use it to make the material that you want it to be made out of. Um... Like, I could put it in the base, but I just think that's a bad idea. I should put it lower down. I could still put it in, like, a zone like this. And it doesn't really matter if this zone heats up, right? Wouldn't it be better to put it in a naturally temperate zone? Um, as long as I don't care about the temperate zone no longer being temperate. Rather than putting it in a, na in a naturally warm or even hot zone. I think before it might have been in a naturally warm or hot zone because as you can see I usually expand my base until it's like no longer going to be in green. Um, 
And so I think I had like expanded my base and then the thing was out even further than the base. So I think it might have been in an already warm zone. Maybe that was adding to it being bad or maybe it wasn't. Um, it would be nice to like grab this nice clean water that is not too hot and all that for now. Like before I ruin everything. Well, I guess we could do that. We're gonna need piping and stuff to some degree down here anyway. I think, um, okay, dig like that, dig this, and then dig all right here, because we're kind of gonna want to open up this space a little bit. Um, I don't know why, but we just are. So we need to drop the water somewhere. So we can drop water here after we've gotten rid of all of this nice water. And then we're just gonna have hot water here and I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with it later. I might actually take a peek at my old base at some point before I record next time or something um, and see if I can just like remember what I was doing with that setup. It wasn't a good setup, but it was like, I think I had gotten to a point where it was manageable. Ah! Nicola! No! No! Um... Nicola, you're gonna dig your way out of here. I was already planning on putting a ladder, but you're just- you're gonna dig your way out, okay? I mean, build your way out. You have some materials. You have some materials, right? Right, right? You can somewhat dig your way out, and then everyone else is gonna help you, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's helping. Everyone's helping. Um, maybe they're not helping enough. I don't want to have to let him actually dig his way out, but, like, if he's gonna suffocate, then... Okay, you are doing the proper ones as fast as you can to actually get out, right? Nicola, you're so smart. Nicola! Nicola, you're so great! Oh my god, Nicola, you don't have to keep going. Just leave. Nicola, leave! Isn't he safe? Oh no, because he didn't get to this one. He's fine, though. He's fine. He's fine! He's fine! Oh wait, but he's not actually fine fine because he's not actually to the air yet. Okay, but there's an air pocket here because of the oxalite bubbles that were there before. Actually, someone get rid of this so we can reveal the slightest bit more of oxalite bubbles. Um, uh, there's no germs over here, right? Okay, yes. And there was no germs down there either, right? Okay, yes. And oxygen, okay. Uh, pay, don't take that whole little oxygen bubble. Uh, Nicola needs some too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, we want to get some oxygen masks around here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want that. I'm actually, I should do that right now. I should probably do that right now. How much do those take? To, how much does it take to set that up? Um, -do 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 -do. It's under stations. And oxygen mask dock, oxygen mask checkpoint. Okay, we can use normal metals, normal metals. Will it work through the door? What is this? Okay, you put them first. So if I put it here, they would only have room for two masks. Which isn't very good. Uh, I mean, it's better than nothing. But then only two people can go down there at a time. Do I shift my entire thing? Oh god. I shift my entire thing, don't I? Three masks? <laughs> Not much better. Uh... Oh, goodness. I don't want to move it all. Like, I could put them somewhere else. I could put them down here or something. But, like, that doesn't make any sense because of the thing. It should be as streamlined as possible. Maybe this is a bad idea in general to put it right here, though, because this part, like, is already has floor and everything. It could become part of my base. Uh. Uh. Um. Crud. Okay. Uh. We're going to do a weird system. Okay, okay, we could do something like that. Where, like, okay. So we get rid of this part. 
We basically put it over here instead. Wait, how is the temperature right there? Okay, yeah, it's still fine. Ugh, it's gonna take a lot. But basically... Um... Uh... We... We... Um... What do I do here that makes sense? Nothing makes sense. This is so dumb seeming, but here's what I'm gonna do. Um... I'm gonna put some tile down here. Uh, maybe they can put one in place there and we won't ruin everything. Maybe and or hopefully we do that. Wait, I'm not moving water again, am I? No, like this is filling this thing up. Yeah. Okay, but for everything else is over here is not moving, right? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, because I disconnected that one. Good, okay. Um, so they're going to do that because, and then they're going to dig out all of this because, um, uh, what I want is this door will, like, this can possibly become part of our colony. And right here, I'm going to put a different type of door. I'm going to put a door like this. Um, okay. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Or, or, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Cancel! Ah, oh, dang it. Um, that's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. Put it back. No, I said cancel! <laughs> put it back, put it back. Ellie, she's too efficient. But do deconstruct these ones. Thank you. Thank you kindly, Ellie. Thank you kindly. Um, you're going to deconstruct those ones, and then we're going to put a, a airlock here. And then ladder here. Okay. And then no one is... Uh, they, they're trapped. They sound like they're trapped. Are they trapped? They, can't they just go up this way? Just stop working and just go up. Why are you eating? Why are you... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh! They're not- oh! Oh, they are trapped! They are trapped! Uh, uh, <laughs> Do I deconstruct it? Do I- Disable it? I think if I disable it, it's fine, right? Go, go! Okay, they got the ladder built in time. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, they are amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Whew. Okay, they left our colony open, though. Oh, God. Okay, well, we're just going to be losing carbon dioxide. <sighs> okay. Or inviting in carbon dioxide, I'm not really sure. Okay, um, enable. Okay. So now, they, they I'm going to, like, deconstruct this. And then... And then... Once this is deconstructed here, they won't be able to go down this way. They'll have to come through this way where the oxygen masks are. Um, they'll have to come through here. And there's going to be so many oxygen mask docks. They're going to be like, oh my goodness. This is so great. We can have six people. Go down through here. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm just going to double wall this. Just because that means if I ever want to get rid of this wall and like make this bigger, I'll easily be able to. Um, no one's trapped down there, right? I don't think so. So that's not a fast way to get up and down through here, but it helps us have one more spot for um, a, a dock. Okay, and then... We need to put, not plumbing, we need to put ventilation to all of these, right? Oh god, okay. It's gonna use more oxygen, but I guess what are we to do, you know? Crud, oh, this is just terrible. Oh god, okay. Go like, th go like this, I guess? And then do, 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 do! Kind of go along there, I guess. And then cancel these ones. Okay. 
They don't need power or anything else, right? We just simply need to create many more masks. Um, copper ore. 25 tons. Let's make 12 more of these. Okay. And then this is a very low cost system, correct? I think correct. Clearance, vacancy. Suit or duplicates of a pass even if there's no room to store their suits. I say clearance always. I don't want people to be trapped, so I guess maybe just clearance always is a good idea. Um, cute! Thank you, Ellie! Wow, amazing, wonderful, wow, 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 wow! Um, okay, they're doing that, they're fabricating the masks, we have lots of oxygen. This is pumping out power for us. And uh, we did dig up here. Oh, right, and I found all this stuff last time. And I was going to make like a park. I completely forgot about that. Ew, it's grody in here. It is nasty. Um, already inspected. I have not done anything with this yet. It's a teleporter. A machine capable of teleporting liquid, solid, and gas resources to another asteroid. It can be activated by a duplicate with the field research skill. This is the receiving side. So... I can activate it, but it won't matter, right? Because I haven't found the other half yet. That's really cool, though. They didn't have teleporters in the other one. Ooh, there's a... There's a thing here of some sort. This will be a, a volcano or a geyser or something. Um, I wonder if I should check it out. I probably should. Um, and I think it's safe to go on through there easily. Yeah. Guys, I want you to dig through this way. And I think if they just go like that, that really isn't dangerous. Okay. There's slime right here, but it has zero surface germs. That's weird. Um, if they go just like that, I think we might be able to tell what is here. Because that little corner will be exposed, but I'm not positive. Um, so that's cool. And then this was what was over here. There are data banks sitting here. I already inspected that. I already did that. Um, and now they have access up here to all this reed fiber, right? Should I enable the auto-harvest or no? Should I just grab it when I actually need it? Do I have enough fiber for a painting of any kind? Landscape canvas. Yeah, I have 21. Uh, let's put landscape canvases here where we still have the ugly plants. Let's put one over here. This is maybe stupid and pointless, but it's also kind of fun, so... I like seeing the paintings that they paint. Um, we can't fit any in here. If we got rid of the crown molding, we could. Would that be worth it? Um, skills. Let's see. Does anyone who has the decorating one? Ellie is already a master. Uh, oh, just Ellie. Okay. So I'm going to only let Ellie do decorating. It already is that way. Okay, perfect. I didn't know if I maybe had two or three people. Um, but also, hey, you, uh, her morale is so low. I was going to say, you could totally use another thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Some of these people are struggling. Uh, washroom duplicate. Dude, Nicola, are you okay? Why are, why is his morale so low? Oh my god, I have so much food! Dude! That's awesome. Um, we can make more of this. So make more of it. Just as our emergency backup. Okay, we've got paintings being made. We've got these that I need to say... Deliver suit! Deliver suit! Deliver suit! Delivery. Delivery. Okay. There we go. 
Deliver suits to all of those. And so now, I thought I made the clearance always. Oh. No, I changed it. Maybe? I guess I changed it. Um. Okay. So we're working on... It's complicated. We're working on two different... Very different things at once. Um, I was gonna have them build this water. Uh, I mean, like, bring this water back. So we were gonna put a pump here. Let's make it out of gold amalgam just for the future. And the pipes, slow overheat temperature, plus 15, plus 15, plus 15. Let's make it out of granite because we have more of that, I guess. Woo! Um, where I, I want this to meet up with the clean water. Okay. I'm gonna have to change this after, probably. Um, I know it's very odd right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna want it to just dump the clean water here. Oh well I'm not actually dumping it then. But that's okay, it can go straight to the the, the pipe. Um so that's gonna be okay for now, but in the future when this has hot water, I don't think I'm gonna want the pipe going there. So I'll have to change the pipe to somewhere else, but that's okay, probably. Um, liquid bridge. So I guess I don't really know why I cared about the material so much, but okay, input output. And then we're gonna have to connect power to this. Um, it usually doesn't actually take them that long to build these things though like these really really long pipelines or um waha pipelines and wire lines as long as we have the materials for it it usually doesn't take them that long what's going on over here uh you guys okay it seems to be water over here often i don't really like that i'm not a fan of it but i guess it is what it is for now so we've got them doing that. Okay, I couldn't quite see what's here yet. I think maybe I dig again. One more spot. And then we'll see. You can sweep this ice, bring it... Oh, well... It's clean? Well, it's not going to be clean if they touch it, though, maybe. Yeah, because there's so much slime lung in here. Ah, uh, I just cancel it for now. Um, okay. So yeah, up here... There are many different sections that we could open up to each other the question is though how big is going to be too big i say we open up these two sections because if we do that then we have four of these guys already here and we've got four of these um i was kept saying i was going to make it a park carbon dioxide geyser well i don't care about that right did I use one of those before? I think I just was constantly throwing away carbon dioxide, right? I guess you can use it. There are certain processes you can use it for. I think actually now there might be something that you can do like with maybe it was with rust or something. Uh, refinement. Anything here have carbon dioxide? Um, oxygen, like the rust thing? No. Hmm. I guess, like, you could use it as a cooling, like you could cool it and use it or something like that. But I don't really think I'm going to need it. But yeah, anyway, I was going to be all like, oh, I can make these, you know, sections into like parks and stuff, but no one ever is going to come up here. So that's not going to matter. That's totally not going to matter if this is a park or not. Okay, but anyway, let's just put a ladder up through there. And then, well, we're going to want a door somewhere so that they don't get out. Uh, I guess just put the door, where do I put the door? Put the door at the bottom. So right here, we randomly dig that and we put the door there, I guess. Um, we're going to open this up 
These guys will hopefully make something here with those things. It'll make it into a good fruit, like something that's nice and yummy for us to eat. So I've been told. And then just for the fun of it, I will put... I don't know where you find it anymore. I don't remember. Uh, furniture? I will put a park sign here. We can indicate it as a nature reserve, but I don't think literally anyone is going to care. But yeah, I don't know if it's too big as well. That's the other thing. Oh, well, I guess it should be big. Park sign, four wild plants. Yeah, we got that! Maximum size 120? I think it might be a fine size when these two things are joined. Um, and then this is closed off here. Oh. Oh, I should just... Uh, uh, I, I should totally just put the ladder here. <sighs> put the ladder there. Cancel these ones. Cancel these ones. Yeah, that'll make much more sense. Deconstruct that. Okay, and then this will be a nature reserve. And... I don't know how much these things can, like, will they be able to get over there? Like, will they be able to reach all of the plants? Uh, well, like I always say, there's only one way to find out. Tune into Cyber Chase. Okay, we got people working down there. That's nice. It's only two people, but that's, that's okay. Um, I need to get this printable. Uh, oh. They're just gonna give me one of these straight off the bat? Um, hey, little dude. So, they eat sulfur. Oh, wait, there is no sulfur. Oh, I feed them. I have to put a... F <sighs> Can you put up... That's not industrial machinery, right? Wrangling, traps, blah, blah, blah. Can it live in here? Or is it going to be weird if it lives in there with these other guys? Overcrowded. I I'll move it to the nature reserve, right? Okay. So, we can put up here, I think it's fine to put um, a critter feeder and a critter drop-off. I think it's okay to have those things in here. So, critter feeder, I know it's all very random and hilly, but it doesn't really matter, right? Critter drop off. Okay. Well, don't open up that area before you've built the door. You're gonna let all the thingies out. Don't let the things out, guys! I guess we'll have to see what happens. They're overcrowded. How, how blissful is this burst of decor? Ooh, it's pretty nice! Pretty nice. Okay. They haven't shown us anything further up on this side yet. Um, okay, why is all of this artwork incomplete? It's really annoying. They just started every painting? What? Ugh. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> why? Why would you do that? Okay, so yes, we're grabbing this water, we're gonna bring it back to our base. Then when we're done that, we're gonna set up the metal refinery down here. And we have oxygen masks, if people go down there. Because people can get through here without an oxygen mask, but they cannot go down there. So it's totally safe. And it makes sense. And oh god, we're gonna be out of algae again. Okay, but uh, there was way a lot of algae somewhere, right? This big algae reserve? Do I grab it now? Do I grab it now? I guess I might as well, right? <sighs> we try and work our way over there and grab that algae right now. Okay, okay, fine. If I do this properly, I could send this water into this pit and we could bring all that back to my base as well. Um, I guess... Start by digging something like that. Because it'll give you some algae. It'll give them some algae and... It will make us be able to get the, the highest point of the algae first, right? 
I guess that's gonna be okay. Are we suffocating yet? Well, we're we're getting there. <sighs> we're getting there. Um, is there any closer algae that I could grab? I mean, there's little bits and pieces. Uh, little bits and pieces here and there. There's like germy algae. Could bring back some germy algae. A lot of duplicates are getting... Let me just... This had these things here. Let me just click on these so that they go away. Um, a lot of duplicates are getting a lot of skills. I don't want to give anyone any more skills though right now. I'm scared. <sighs> Colony summary. Yeah, yeah. Achievements. Woo, woo. Cool. Yay. Uh-huh. Cool. Awesome. Okay. <sighs> just wanted to get rid of some of these marker things. I don't, this one still isn't gone because there are still duplicates that have skills that it's like skill points to be assigned. So I guess I'm not going to get rid of that one for a while. Oh, okay. Ellie's painting. Oh, yay. Cute. One painting done. Oh. Uh, doesn't seem like it improved the decor very much, but okay. I mean, it does improve it. This one, it's not have any. It doesn't have anything painted on it yet. I guess even if you just start the painting, it counts, which is kind of stupid. But, <laughs> um, okay. Wow, they're about halfway done with all of that building. They should probably go and dig the algae before they all die, though. That would be a good, good idea. I don't want to pressure them, but that would probably be a good idea, guys. If you wanted to do that. Maybe sooner rather than later. Just, yeah, something to keep in mind. I know I'm not going to backseat here or anything, but it is something to keep in mind. Maybe they can grab some of this. And it will be fine to bring it back. It's going to be fine. To bring that back as well, because that's closer. Okay, there we go. There we go. They're getting it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, and they can dig this piece of algae, and I guess this dirt, and this copper. <laughs> Those are all useful resources. Dig all of it. Did you grab any algae to, like, actually fill up a machine yet? Yes, they're filling the main oxygen diffuser. Thank god. Okay, good. Ooh, yay, another painting! We got a space one. We got a farm one. Nice. Okay. This is actually cute that the farm one is, is here and also food is here. Because this is all, you know, it makes sense. It makes sense. Ellie, one more painting! Go, go, go! What is it going to be? What is it going to be? Ellie, why is it taking you so long? Ooh, abstract! Nice. Actually, I think the abstract painting was the one that we had in our, um, in our old base. Our... What is this? What is it? What is entombed? It was telling me before. Now it's not. It won't tell me what's entombed. Whatever. Like, what is soil? What is that? Is it one of these random things somewhere? Maybe it's a random thing somewhere. I don't know. Um. In in our old colony, I think the uh, thingy mabobber with the hatches. It had an abstract painting. Um, which one do I want? Room overlay. Okay, it is a nature reserve. Yay! Um, room size. Room size 120 tiles. Maximum size 120 tiles. I got so lucky. <laughs> okay, so these guys eat sulfur. So I want stuff that... I want sulfur. Where are they? Oh, Sweetle. Huh? Uh... Why can't I click this? Huh? Filter's not designated. I'm trying to designate them. I can't feed the Sweetles? Weird. Um... There's a little dude somewhere around here, right? Yes. Wrangle! We're gonna bring you up to your long-lost family. Um, long-lost family. Okay, why? Why is there no... Whatchamacallit there? 
Spindly grub fruit. Uh, it'll produce high quality fruit instead. I don't know if those guys can get down. I don't think they want to go down there. I guess I could wrangle them all and then drop them down here. But I don't know if they can climb up. This is a weird situation that we're in. It might be a completely unworkable situation. So I can say hatchling food, but why can't I say sweetle food? Even if I don't have it, I should still be able to say it, you would think. Uh, weird. Sulfur. I can't dig anything out of that spot because then uh, it will be too big. So I have to find sulfur from somewhere else. Going to the materials overlay, everyone. Oh god, brace yourself. Um, where was the sulfur? Something here was totally sulfur, right? It's, it's grayed out. Huh? Am I not allowed to, like, use sulfur yet? I guess maybe I need better digging skill? That, that shouldn't be it, though. Sulfur mining. How do you get sulfur? There must be something about it, right? There must be something about the sulfur situation. Dang, I don't know. As of right now, I don't know, and I can't increase anyone's digging skill. Uh, miscellaneous, melting point, hardness. It's very soft. Okay, so it's not digging. <sighs> What's the deal with sulfur? Why don't they want me to... Oh, here. This is where they'll tell me if something's... Oh, this thing is entombed again! Everything's melting over here! Oh, God, that's annoying. But eventually, everything will have melted. Oh. Our other things are freezing again, though. The other pipes. Dang it. Ah, uh, okay. But I'm more concerned or confused about the sulfur right now. and Like, what I do in order to get it to... Get it to... In order to get what I want. <laughs> sulfur... Well, oh no, not here. In my journal. My journal. That's where I can learn about sulfur, right? Browse entries in my database. Sulfur. Liquid sulfur. Solid sulfur. Um, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. They don't tell me anything useful about it well i guess i'm not figuring it out today we have a nature reserve here but it doesn't help us at all not yet okay fine uh, we got paintings and we've got oxygen masks and we've got algae and we've almost got fresh water so ha take that yeah Exactly. <laughs> Take that and stop being a jerk. Okay, we're using manpower. But it'll be okay for the time being, I think. <sighs> Fine then. Um, <sighs> until, once they move that water, and I guess maybe the other water, then we're ready to set up that thing. So those are the two things we were working on. The up thing and the down thing. And then the both other things right now are kind of like, huh? I don't really know. So... That must mean that it's time to end the episode. Um, oxygen will be fine. Power will be fine. Temperature will be fine. Um, plumbing will be fine. Uh, ventilation will be fine. Uh, decor will be fine. Germs. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, uh, farming. 
farming is great as always rooms are good uh, yeah i mean i guess that is that we either figure out what's the deal with sulfur what's the deal with sulfur we either figure out what the deal with sulfur is um and or we move this water move the water slash algae and oh we're moving this water yes we're officially moving water sweet okay dump all that out then dump all that out and then we build the stinking metal refinery okay you've twisted my arm we'll do it okay <laughs> but like i said next episode um, no more time today. I did, however, uncover another little uh, geyser thing over here. It's just one that I don't want. But it's good to find and check all of those. So that's another one that we can cross off the list. We now know. Okay. That is it for today. Uh, I think. Right? Yeah. Probably. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye now.